and I am an online entrepreneur. I use Hello, hello, hello. Let me switch it so I can hear myself. <clears throat> All right. I think I think we're good. All right. Let's jump right into it then. Do do do. Okay. There you go. Let's start painting something. <clears throat> is it a working? Is it working okay on you guys's end? Maybe. Oh, what's up? All right. Evening. All right. Let's do a, a different kind of painting that I normally would do. I mean, it's still kind of what I would do, but it's just been a while since I've done it. A painting where I start from the shadows, bringing it to light. This should be good. Yeah, here you go. It works okay? Cool, 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 cool. All right, then. Yeah, this is in celebration of me reaching 40K followers on ArtStation. It has been a pleasure. I've been really excited because, um, you know, although I have, you know, like a good amount of followers on other platforms like ArtStation, I'm sorry, not ArtStation, um, Instagram and um, uh, Facebook, uh, it's it's pretty nuts to have that many on ArtStation because ArtStation isn't just randos, right? It's a bunch of other artists, and so. To get that many people is pretty impressive. And I think right now, the people that are in lead, like some of the most subscribed people there, I got my sights on y'all. I'm coming for you now. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can get even more. Uh, I actually have some strategies on what I can do. Uh, one of the strategies requires the obvious, which is painting a lot, a lot more, and a lot more often. I have been doing a lot of sketches, trying to get better at drawing environments. So that might help tremendously. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm planning on trying to put together some sort of graphic novel. I have some idea what I can do. So it should be good. It's just going to take some time. <clears throat> what am I going for today? Uh, just painting something that creeps, beeps out. Uh, starting from the shadows. Normally, I've been painting just black and white images straight from like a light background, but I think I'm going to start going into doing darker ones. I'd probably go back to painting like my more fantasy based stuff uh, in color. And then maybe once I get there, I'm going to start writing and um, drawing pages of my comic. That should be good. Hello, mighty Pegasus. What's your favorite and more f most effective social media? Art station? Artist station? Uh, what did I miss about drawing environments? <laughs> I'm learning how to draw environments so I can be better at comic books. Because I'm really bad at drawing environments. 
So it's time. Tis be time. Tis be time. Time tis be. Um, there was one, uh, what is my most effective? <clears throat> uh, what's my favorite and most effective? Uh, I like ArtStation. I like Instagram too. I like Instagram. I like ArtStation. Um, uh, Facebook used to be my favorite platform, but the reason why I think it has not been is because, um, I've noticed that people tend to complain a lot more these days, including myself, um, and I think we've we've kind of stepped away from making art like we used to. And I think that's a problem. Um, and so I'm kind of like trying to bring back that feeling of like streaming and hanging out with people, you know? And watching someone draw while they're talking about stuff that's on their mind. I think that has a lot of value still. I think people really do enjoy this. Yeah, let's, let's do some creepy crawling. Let's do some more creepy, creepy, creepy crawling. Look in the arms. Let's get some more of them coming out. Yeah, but uh, this is going to be pretty relaxed. I have to do some other stuff. So I'm probably going to just paint this for several minutes in celebration of the art station stuff. And then uh, tomorrow I'll have my proper hanging out and maybe do some questions then. Um, I was doing some programming today. I have some cool ideas that I wanted to show my friends. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But anyway, do you share your attempts on uh, environments? Uh, not at the moment, just because a lot of what I do is just me studying. Uh, I think people who run into me in person, I always show because it's just there. But it, it takes effort to kind of like put it all together and show it to people because most of what I do to, is also traditional. Um, whenever I practice, I try to practice in in, in ways that are not comfortable so that way I can focus on my weaknesses rather than um, like using the tool to kind of cheat because if I use tools then it becomes um, it could be a deceive a deceiving trait like if I can't draw the thing without using some special tools then I might not be able to draw it at all and that's just how I feel about it now I know like a lot of people will be able to draw certain things because of their tools um, but especially since I am going to try to build a comic um, there's a few things that I am considering how it's going to be drawn and I want to make sure that I am capable of telling a story more so more so than drawing really cool images. I think drawing the cool images parts uh, is not going to be as challenging. Uh, but so this first round, I'm gonna probably go more comic book style too. Uh, and interestingly enough, like I uh, did like a little homage for Hellboy recently and people really received that well. Um, and it was based off of, you know, pretty popular comic book character. So I thought maybe that was what made it really impressive. I have a few more tests to see if it truly was the style that really helped push it as well as the subject matter or could have been a combination of the both or it could have just been one. It's hard to tell. It's easy to kind of just make some assumptions, but that's why you just got to keep setting out images and see what the collective just naturally leans towards. Um, but I, I would love to kind of go more stylistic with my comic because it will save me tons of time uh, and it'll allow me to like just focus on just imagery. 
Do you think, oh, do you still work in a studio for Roll of Pencil or are you at home all, all days, all oh, these days? I am at home. This would be truth. Uh, I used to have a place, yes, and uh, but I realized that it was just, it was kind of overkill for what I do. What tends to happen is that, you know, you, you, you become more and more established, so you feel like you need to expand more and more. And the reality is that I don't really care about uh, expanding uh, as much. Like right now I'm doing, you know, um, these, uh, what you call it, these tutorials and, uh, making some YouTube videos, but mostly because I want to kind of just keep building my brand, um, indirectly and not necessarily build it yeah, like I did before. I was just watching some other YouTubers online and I, I can see that they, they're expanding in ways that I just never want to expand anymore or even want to have on my mind. Um, not because... I think what they're doing is wrong and stupid and whatever. Um, no, it's actually, it's, it's just not something that I want to do, but what rather what I would do is build around, uh, build more of a reputation around platforms that allow me to have just more time, uh, bring in more residual income that will allow me just more time. That's all I really want. Um, not so I can expand, but just more that I can just chill and keep on making art making things, be creative, learn new stuff. I feel when you keep expanding, um, you ultimately build your brand and your ideas around this old version of you. And as time goes on, you, you don't want to be stuck doing this old version. That's why you see a lot of artists and directors and storytellers and movie uh, actors and other kinds of people in different fields tend to try something different with their music or, or try to do something with their craft that's different. And the fans of the very person, uh, they don't really have any understanding of what it's, what's going through the, this person's mind. Instead, what ends up happening is people tend to just make fun of these people and, and tend to bash their attempt, uh, especially if it's not any good. Where what was great about when you were just starting out and you're like just a newbie, uh, you know, you were allowed to make these types of mistakes and you had like less of an audience who cared. So you were able to kind of like craft it. Uh, but now that, it, that many people have like these large audiences, they, they tend to really, um, tenders just live in this older version of themselves because that's how they built their fans. And I recognize that that's something that has happened to me. And so I'm like, okay, well, I need to like slowly transition to different things that, makes sense for my audience. Um, and then if I do new things, I need to build a new audience doing those new things. So I feel like what I can start to do is start to learn new things and start building my brand about learning uh, because this is something that I do genuinely care about um, consistently. Uh, uh, but it will allow me to have like a, a larger set of stuff that I can do overall. But like I said, I just want more time. And it seems counterintuitive for something that like, if you become more successful, you think you would have more time. The reality is um, it, it doesn't happen that way, especially if you don't make smart decisions early in your career. Like I didn't make a lot of smart decisions. I made a lot of terrible choices uh, chasing that dream. Tons of terrible choices, things that I, um, really am, I'm sad that I made, but you know, at the same time, you know, I did learn valuable lessons. It did shape me to be the person I am today. So I can't be too upset about what happened, but it is still upsetting. So yeah, I just try to try to keep pushing. So I, I think yeah, building the art station, that's great. I mean, I do like to, to draw the things I draw and I like to build that audience and that audience I tend to really enjoy. And so I'm really happy to have reached that goal. One thing that I think I'm gonna to start to do uh, on this channel is, cause I, I am doing these, um, these things to try to get better on the side, like more drawings of environments per se. Um, so it could be valuable to kind of start sharing that goal. I already kind of have the study sessions and uh, I probably should do a study session tomorrow. Cause I need to get back on that. Um, but ultimately, you know, I'm all about just practicing. And so I need to get back to practicing, uh, and, and just showing the process might be something really nice, uh, something that people can really appreciate. 
Like I said, folks, I'm not going to hang out for too long. It's just going to hang out for a little bit because I have to do other things. Going to hang out with the family before I head out and do my other responsibilities. But I do hope you guys enjoy this drawing. I appreciate y'all. Uh, let me see. Ah, nice. Yeah, it makes sense. It looks so detailed already. Thank you. Well, that makes a lot of sense. You do always have to walk the same path that everybody does. Uh, you do not always have to. How, how do you balance your time between work, practice, and family? Do you have any tips for sticking to slash making your daily schedule that uh, moves your uh, towards your goals? Uh, I think reducing your social network is actually a big one that people don't recognize like there's an app called stay free i'm not sure what device you have but get an app that just basically catalogs all the most popular apps that you use you just put it on the checklist so it pays pays attention to like how often you're using these these apps and then you'll just see like you're spending like yesterday for instance almost spent like two and a half hours on facebook uh, which is a lot for me i i tend to spend no more than like 30 minutes on facebook uh, like maybe five, 10 minutes on Instagram. Uh, I spend most of my time on YouTube, but it's it's not a fair comparison because on YouTube, I'm usually working. Um, I'm usually watching a video as I am uh, um, working. But I'm, I'm trying to think, maybe I should do something else. Maybe I should try um, listening to podcasts again. So that way I can minimize my YouTube because I'm starting to realize YouTube is just, it's getting overwhelmingly crowded with information and data. That's just not like the commentary and inter entertainment on there is just not what I want. Um, a lot of it's very distracting. A lot of it's really, um, like, you know, it's just not uplifting. It's usually just like a lot of people complaining and whining about everything. And so, uh, I, I don't know. I don't feel that the people that I follow, I need to maybe reset the people I follow because I did this thing where I purged the YouTube algorithm and it worked for a while. It was great, but it's like coming back slowly. It's like, it's, it's really hard to escape. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys, if you look on your side channel, like recommendations, there, there's probably a good handful of just like drama or just nonsensical information on your recommended feed on YouTube. And uh, I think that's a problem. I think there needs to be more of a catering to the kind of things that you want to do. Like, it would be great if you can just type in something on YouTube that said something very explicit. Like, uh, I really do not. I only want uplifting or positive uh, YouTube uh, videos just for like today. So I can just stay focused and work, not get my mind wandering. You know, that would be great instead of just like trending and like games and sports like they're just super general you know um but anyway oh uh, no i'm not taking questions i've actually it was just a short stream just to hanging out sorry paul next time uh stay free was the name of the app but i mean if you just look at for any kind of app that just pays attention to your your usage that's all you need to do um so that that alone cobra could help you dramatically you might realize you're over using certain apps more than you thought you know and so like put an alarm on it, like mine, I have like an alarm that, um, you can like after 30 minutes of using the app for that day, it will, it will let you know. So like, if you don't want to use Facebook for more than like, like 30 minutes or Instagram or any of these other more popular apps that you probably have on your phone, like Twitter or whatever you're using, or even messenger, you can just do a 30 minute timer. Uh, so after 30 minutes of use, it'll just tell you. So. Yeah, try it out, y'all. Uh, but that's one of the biggest things, actually. It's, I, it, it, there's more time than you might suspect. And then outside of that, there's just you just got to schedule things, put things on calendars, use lists. That helps. All right. Yeah, I'll do another stream tomorrow. Um, probably be a study session type stream. Talk more and more about working. But with that, be said, with that being said, peace out, friends. Hope you guys have a good one. Laters.